The season of giving extends well beyond the holidays for a Burnsville woman who is the founder of a charity called More Than Me. Katie Myler has devoted her life to helping improve educational opportunities for young girls in the African nation of Liberia. She recently won a $1 million award to help fund her efforts. She joins me now to talk more about her charitable work. Thanks for joining us, Katie. Thank you for having me. First, let's talk about your organization, More Than Me. It seems to be self-explanatory, but tell us what it's about, what the goal is. Um, our mission is to help little girls get off the street and into school in one of the poorest slums on our planet. Mm. And um, so we put girls in school and we provide tuition and um, school lunch and things like health care for girls who are sick. Um, the, main, the main goal is really to empower these girls through education. Now, why Liberia? Um, there's a saying that says <laughs> that nobody ever chooses Liberia. Liberia chooses you. Um, I love Liberia, but when, when I graduated from college, I got a job working for an international organization and they sent me to Liberia. Uh, so I didn't, when I was uh, 23, 24, I got sent to Liberia as my first, for my first job um, teaching adult literacy. And um, I made friends with these kids on the street and they're like, Auntie, Auntie, help me go to school. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I got there. And then I met these kids that were wanted to go to school and I didn't under, you know, I started to learn that like school wasn't free for these kids. And if they weren't in school, they were on the streets working. Um, and it was for girls who were working on the streets, they were extremely vulnerable to being, ex you know, sexually exploited. Um, so started putting kids in school just with my, with my own salary um, at the time. And then I started putting their stories on like MySpace, which was cool at the time. And uh, so social media has been a big, big tool for us. And people were wiring, you know, a lot of friends and family from New Jersey were wiring money to Liberia. Um, and I was using that money to help girls go to school. And there was a tax attorney from Montclair, New Jersey, um, working um, with Lawyers Without Borders in Liberia. And she saw me and she was like, Katie, you should just make this all legit. She's like, I'll do the paperwork for free. Um, so she suggested I started a charity. Um, and I went to my best friend uh, and I said, I don't think I have what it takes. I didn't go to Ivy League college. You know, I'm just a normal girl. And he looked at me dead in the eyes and he said, get over yourself. It's not about you. Um, and that's where the name More Than Me uh, ended up coming from. Now tell me what your budget was before and how this $1 million will help you meet this right. goal. Yeah, we were, we were operating. We were only, we just turned three in uh, August. So we, we definitely were a lot smaller of an organization. I was the, I just recently started getting a, a stipend that, to live on. Um, so we went from, from me being the only like kind of employee um, and then we had some employees in Liberia and working with 108 girls and we partnered with local school in Liberia. Uh, so now we'll be able to open up our own academy, which was a plan uh, that we, you know, we've been planning on this, but now we actually have the funds to do it. Um, so we're really determining what that yearly budget's going to look like because we don't obviously want to throw the whole million dollars, you know, use it all right away. Um, but just as a board, determining the best way to, um, you know, put, position these funds so that we can bring in, bring in more and be a sustainable long-term organization. And how do you become sustainable? And how can you ensure that this money is spent wisely and responsibly? Well, one is having a lot of really amazing people around us that can help uh, mentor us. And, and the money has come from Chase. And, and you know, they had financial advisors that uh, are going to be advising us on how we can, you know, places we can put the money that can earn interest and those type of deals, um, those type of things. Um, we've also worked, um, are considering right now a partnership with Shine on Liberia, or, and they, they do um, schools that have businesses attached to them. So therefore, like we can, that's, that's how we would sustain our school where we wouldn't consistently have to constantly be raising money for this one school, we can move on to the next one uh, because it would have a business attached to it. Very nice. Well, we're going to continue to follow your work, and thank you so much for sharing your story with us. We're super pumped. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs>